Hi, this is Michelle at AppWorks, and today I'm going to show you how to add sorting functionality to your existing list view headers. So let's get started. Here on our task list, we have a variety of statuses, categories, and due dates. By default, this task list is sorting on the status field. To change the sort order, we can simply click the sort button here in the top toolbar and we can either change the sort order or we can choose a combination of fields. We have a lot of flexibility here and this is great. But today, what I'm going to show you is how to turn your existing list headers into buttons that will sort your layout. This is going to create a really intuitive user experience. So first, let's start by turning our current text headers into buttons. So for that, we will go into layout mode. And I've already created a button here uh, for the task. And we're just going to duplicate this for the rest of our headers as well. So we'll delete our task here. Move this here to take its place. We'll do the same for the status. Category. And of course our due date. Now that we've turned our headers into buttons, we'll need to write a script that these buttons can call that will not only sort ascending, but can also be clicked again to sort descending. Again, this is what's going to create the most intuitive user experience. So we'll go to our script workspace. I've already created a script called task sort. Uh, I like to have a sort script for uh, each table or table occurrence, uh, typically just on a list layout. There's a couple different ways that you can write this. Uh, you can use JSON to store the field that you're sorting on as well as a direction you're sorting. That works great. If, however, you're using an older version of FileMaker and you don't have native JSON functions, then uh, I will show you the way that I do it where we just store the field name as well as the direction in a single variable. We will be using global variables uh, for this script as well. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to set our global sort variable And we're going to be putting all of the logic of which direction to sort in um, in our script parameters. So for this one, we're actually just going to say get script parameter. Now that we have our sort variable, we're going to add a series of if and if else statements to handle our sort functionality. Uh, based off of the field and of course the direction that we're sorting on. So to start with, I'm going to add a task ascending option. Uh, I'm also going to add a task descending option. We'll start with that. And of course, if we're sorting task ascending, then we'll want to sort by that here in our sort order. So we'll say task, and for this, we're going to say ascending order. And I'm simply going to copy that, paste it down here, and reverse the order to descending. So if we save that, we should be able to go into our task list perform script, of course, task sort, and then we're going to want to modify our script parameters. And inside of this, we're going to add a case statement.
this is really where the magic happens in that we're going to determine uh, the sort order dynamically depending on what it's currently sorted as. So what we're going to say is if the sort global variable is already equal to task ascending, then we're simply going to tell it to sort by task descending. Otherwise, we're going to assume that it is sorting either descending already or it's sorting off of a different header, in which case we really just want to sort ascending to start with. And I'm actually going to copy this and because we're going to be pasting it in to our other headers as well. And in fact, we can go ahead and just set those up now. We can say perform script, task sort. And then for this, I'm simply going to replace task with status. And click OK. And I'm going to quickly repeat that for our other headers as well. Before we finish adding our sort functionality to our script, let's go ahead and try testing the task header uh, that we have currently just to make sure everything is working appropriately. So if I click it once, I'm going to expect this to sort ascending. And if I click this again, I'm going to expect it to go in descending order. And it looks like everything is working great. So let's go ahead and finish up our script by adding the functionality for the rest of our headers. And we're going to handle the status a little bit different than we do the category and due date. So we'll start with those and then we'll come back to the status later. So I'm going to open my script workspace and I'm simply going to add some more uh, if else statements if sort is equal to category ascending and I'm gonna start just copying and pasting a few more of these so we'll have category descending and we'll have date ascending and date descending and we'll add some space in here. We'll go ahead and uh, also create some if else statements for our status that we'll be doing later as well. So I'm going to start copying and pasting some sort scripts and of course modifying this to match our parameter. So category ascending and then we'll do category descending and so on. This one's going to be date ascending and date descending and we'll click OK. We'll save this uh, so just to make sure this works now for our category looks like that's working both directions and our date header is also working. Um, so for status, uh, I want to point out that we are actually not sorting alphabetically um, ascending or descending. We actually want to sort this based off of a value list. So if we go back into layout mode and we go to manage value lists, we can see that we have a custom built status value list that goes in the order um, that kind of makes the most sense in progress, pending, postponed, etc. Um, so normally when we sort this, we're sorting it in this order. Um, so if we were to reverse the sorting, we would kind of expect this to happen in reverse. So rather than just sorting alphabetically on status, I'm actually going to create 
another value list um, to sort in the reverse order. So we're simply going to start uh, by removing these dividers. Um, our script won't really care about those. Um, and we're just going to start uh, reversing the order of this value list here. Okay, so now that we've got this in reverse, we're gonna click okay. And we'll now have that available. Uh, if we go back into our sorting script, uh, we can now uh, configure our sorting uh, for the status. So we're going to click status. And on this one, we're going to say custom order based on our original status value list. And um, oh, actually add that over here. And we'll click OK. And then we're going to copy and paste this down here. Only this time we're going to choose our sort reverse value list instead. And so if we save that and we go back into browse mode, let's go ahead and test this. So if I click this once, um, we're going to expect it to go in the original order, which starts with in progress at the top, goes to pending, postponed. And then if we click this again, we should see our reverse order, which has completed first, then canceled, etc. So it looks like this is working. Um, so now you can simply just replicate uh, this script for all of your different list views if needed. Um, and then again, another option is to use JSON and to split this up into two key value pairs, uh, one with the field that you're sorting on and the other with the direction. Um, and again, you would just store this in a global variable and I would still continue to use um, the script parameter to handle the logic as to which uh, direction to begin sorting on. So hopefully that will get you started. Uh, we love any feedback that you have in the comments and thank you for watching.